So the fence is continuing to go up. This side has all the posts put in and then the dirt has been put back over the concrete. We decided on that mystery there to just leave it alone. The fence post got moved just a little bit. So that mystery is just there. We'll figure out another day. So over here they're getting ready to put in they're getting ready to uh, mix up some concrete and put it into the holes. So as you can see on the post, you see there's down at the bottom there's a line that's two feet so they want about that much down into the hole. Over here we've got some concrete that they're going to mix up. They brought some warm water. That's warm water out of the house, right? Hot water. Yeah. Hot water. And they're going to mix up some concrete for this hole. Some fast creep. This is some quick creep. They're using the hot water because it's just barely warm enough to do the concrete today. And I've never seen this method of mixing concrete before. Interesting technique. You, you throw it to me, we'll throw it back and back and forth. And if you can get a good rhythm going, and then it mixes it up until I throw the rhythm off. And you can also and take it and you stomp through the tarp to help look for sure There's no pockets of dry hmm. mix. That looks good. That looks cool. Good. And then you can just pick it up. Into the hole it goes. That's good for that one. Yeah. And in it goes. That was enough mix for two holes. Move it around. Check it for level, make sure everything's tamped down in there, and let it cure. It'll be good. How long does it take to cure? A few hours. A few hours with the colder weather, just to give it a little time before putting any pressure on it. Right. Right now they're doing, I think they're doing the last post. I would like to do a hail thing. What about this post? Uh, that hole needs to be dug deeper. That one the auger cut on a root. So we have to finish it by hand. How much deep is that? Um, about three inches. That's deep? Yep. Here, Michael. Such finesse. You're supposed to catch that. Uh, with my teeth? Sure. Whatever works for you. One punch man can catch a sword with his teeth. I can't do that. No. He catches it, then breaks it hmm. with his teeth. So are these, the, oh, you can't hit the string, Shane, because that'll take it off for what they're doing the other ones. So all the rest of them are set, except for that one last except one? for that one. Ah. And then you're putting on the wire today or tomorrow? I think tomorrow. i got to let these set. Let everything set. I think we need the leverage in the back. You think? All right, grab it. 
So what are you doing now? He's moving the base of the post back so it's more in line with the fence line. Ah. That's going to be a pretty large yard. And what are we doing with these? Those are going to come out. Yeah. Well, here, let me... Uh, there's, well, there's T-post pullers or there's other methods, but they'll come out so the dogs will have this whole yard to run in. What do you think Sparky and Jack will think of that? Yeah, they can actually see around to the front and stuff. That's what they're going to think. Roar, 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 happy dogs. Okay, so one more post to go and then wait until tomorrow to get the... When are we taking this down? The, they already started. They already took off some of the wires. And then they'll take off the rest of the wires, and then it'll be ready to put on the next. Do you notice how it's not connected to the post anymore? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what he got done. Uh, you could probably go through it. Well, they'll probably just rip that part out, but you can go see if there's any... Did he take all the... Shane, did he take all of the wires off? Go check on the other side and see if they're all off. If they're not, then you can do them. He started this side, so look at the other side. What's the thing that, oh, this thing just uses a few force? Uh, yeah, you untwist. Watch. This would be a terrifying weapon in a zombie apocalypse. Like, if you look at it, it looks like that weird bird from the Croods. You know that weird piranha bird thingy? It's got the horn. Mm, yep. <clears throat> Except it's too long. Uh, you're going to need some shoes on. There's snow out around here, so you need shoes. What do you need? You need shoes, that's what I mean. Any of this stuff that's still got the wires on it? Or did he take all the wires off? Well, let's look up at the end and see if they're all... And he's not snipping, he's untwisting. Yeah, it looks like he's got them all off. So what are they attaching to the fence? As a There's fence. wires that you use to attach. What, these? They got this wire. They're going to attach that. To and the then look, fence. there's more wire over here. See the rolls over here? Those are going to go on there as well. Okay. Okay. I'm going inside, Shane. It's specifically for fencing. 